Right then guys, how's it going? Welcome to a match preview. Um, as you might be able to guess, I'm currently in the car heading down to Old Trafford to see Newcastle take on Manchester United. Uh, I don't normally do the previews, um, or I've not done one in a very long time, but I'm um, currently in the car, traffic's terrible. Um, I thought I'd do a preview on the way down, so if I, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't have a lot of hope for today. Um, made worse by the fact that they've now brought in Ronaldo, which does add a little bit of extra spice and a, a bit of excitement to the game. Um, but as I say, we, we haven't been good um, and they are going to be absolutely buzzing for this one. So. Let me know down below how you think the day is going to go for uh, Manchester United and Newcastle. As I say, um, our biggest problem at the moment is keeping the ball out of our net. Uh, we have conceded a lot of goals already in the first three games. Um, and now with them bringing in Ronaldo, honest, well, his return debut, he's going to get one. He's going to get at least one, which means we need to score at least one, if not two. And what do you know? Callum Wilson is injured. So we do not have a striker. Um, I saw a... Well, I mean, it was a bit... It was a joke tweet, but really it's it's pretty much spot on. It was the five at the back that we've been playing with Murphy, Dummett, Celes, Fernandes, Shaw. And then defensive centre mid on this thing. It had Clark and Hayden. And then... It basically just had to see Max up front on his own. Like, we were all in our own half, 10 men in our own half with St. Max up front, and that is what we are gonna do today. Um, obviously, I'm going down there. I'm hoping that we can get something from this. I mean, no, again, I saw a, a poll of, like, predicted, like, outcomes on games. Obviously, on my, my predictions video every week, if you've not got your predictions in yet, you still can for half 12 when the first game of this weekend kicks off. So jump on there if you haven't already. Um, I think basically less than 1% of people had predicted Newcastle to get a result today. So it just shows you uh, where we are right now and what people think are gonna happen in this game. Which is why I'd love it uh, if we beat them. No, I'd love it if we, I'd love it if we were gonna draw. I'd love it if we just generally put in a good account of ourselves for a change because as I say you know I mean it feels like forever ago now before the, um, the international break um, Southampton um, with the draw against them I mean Southampton could have been out of sight at half time that could have been 4-0 up and um, thankfully we decided we'd give it a go in the second half but even then you know to be up and then draw was, was poor. Um, Bruce has been on holiday over the international break where everything's going wrong and this is a bit of time where the players who aren't on international duty can you know work on what we're going to do in time for the for this game. Bruce has gone on holiday because even he's not bothered. I mean I know I'm laughing and joking but I could easily be crying as well. Um, thankfully I'm pretty excited for today. Um, as I say I am driving down the, the, the traffic's been terrible, the, the cricket's on, which is now cancelled, I believe, and the Manchester have got a festival going on, we've got the Great North Run going the other way, so it, it, it hasn't been <laughs> too good. I'm saying that, I'm not going to jinx it, because I've only been in one stoppage earlier, otherwise we're looking okay. I've had a ticket um, with, with a friend of mine for a while, he wasn't sure if he wanted to go or not, and then... I finally looked at doing the trains and I just left it so late. You basically couldn't get a train to Manchester from any time today or yesterday. Because everyone's trying to get there for these various different um, events that are going on. So we're in the car, but it's alright. As I say, I'm meeting a few lads when we get down there, hopefully. Um, and I'm hoping to get there in plenty of time as well. So, um, And it's, it's sold out. It, it's sold out by the away end. Um, I've seen a lot of people on Facebook, Twitter, trying to get tickets at the last minute, and that was again partly why I thought, you know what, I've got to go. I've got to drive down and go for it. I'm one of the lucky ones who's got a ticket. There's a lot of people who haven't. Um, I cannot just let it sit on the bedside table and not bother using it. So 
We are going down again. I'm not expecting a huge amount. Let me know what you think is going to happen in today's game. Is Ronaldo going to start? You know, I'll watch that Mark Goldbridge who does the United stand. Or I'll watch a bit of his preview. And he was basically saying that he should start. You know, this one of, one of, if not the best player in the world. In what reality do you sign him and not play him from the start? But what he was saying was that what they also are going to want is that, um, you know, that pop from the crowd, that huge cheer when he comes on the pitch. But obviously, the only way to get that really is to bring him on a sub. And I suppose they could do it after the first 10 minutes, just for the sake of it, but what they'd really do is probably bring him on in the in the 50th, 55th minute. So maybe for a Newcastle fan, for us lot, it's a good thing <laughs> if he doesn't start. Um, but yeah, on it, oh, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna tear us alive today. Unfortunately, I mean, I, what, what I wouldn't be surprised if Bruce did is stick with five at the back, but um, start Dummett. Stick with five at the back, but start Mankio. And then we're still at five at the back, but at least we might actually have a bit of a stronger defence, as I say. I think Richie works hard. I'm one of these, I will back Richie. I think he, he works really hard, and I like his attitude. But he's he's played, well, just poor. These first few games, I thought left back, Richie, wing back. I thought he could do all right there, but for whatever reason, he's, he's been useless. And Murphy, I'm not going to slate him because when he the, he's looked good when he's been attacking. But the poor lad can't defend, so it, it's almost cruelty to keep playing him in that position at this point. Um, well, I've barely seen Mankio in the pre-season, so I'm assuming that he is not in um, Bruce's good books. We're back down to 40, guys. It's not good. Not good. Um, so it'll probably be Kraft, which again... <laughs> what, who would I prefer, Kraft or Murphy? I'm best of a bad bunch, really, but... Um, uh, also, Almiron, I don't think he'll be playing today either. So, again, we're looking at that quick counter-attacking play and we're defending for the majority of, ga of the game, trying to get on that quick counter. I don't think Almiron can play because of this South American ban on players who didn't travel to their international duties. Or I'm, I'm not fully versed on that exactly. But So, without Almiron, it will probably be St. Max up front on his own. And then Willock, the nearest second player. And Willock's good, and Willock's good at arriving late into the box, but Willock isn't quick enough to be that flat-out flat counter-attack player um, that we're probably going to need today. Um, so, yeah, long story short, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, but I am, for whatever reason, excited for it. I'm looking forward to getting down there and getting out of the car. The sun was blazing when I left the house. But we're getting close to Manchester now, so obviously it's started raining. And thankfully, I've got a, I've got a hoodie. I didn't bring a coat, so hopefully it doesn't start chucking it down. Um, but yeah, if you are on the way to the game, maybe you're watching this on the way down yourself. Let me know what you think's going to happen. As I say, go and check out the predictions video if you haven't already for today's weekend. Uh, I won't spoil what prediction I gave for this game. I'll let you go and find out for yourself over there. Um, and again, I will be doing my vlog for the day as well, so be sure to look out for that later on. Hopefully, I'll be cheering. In that um, in that video, I really I really doubt it at the minute, to be honest. But um, I mean, again, just want to see a bit of something, a bit of something, a bit, maybe a goal, maybe two, um, and just put in a good a good a good account of ourselves. You know, when the world's watching, let's let's turn it on and see what we can do. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed the preview. Uh, maybe I could do a few more of these in the future. Um, as I say, subscribe if you happen um, to be coming across this and you've not subscribed before. And as I say, full vlog will be out tonight in Old Trafford, so be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.